on, guys. You're not helping. <laughs> You're looking for cookie Zeke. <laughs> Over. Oh, I don't believe this. Where is my handle for the hammer? <laughs> if I can't find the handle, I'm going to turn the hammer head into a paperweight. I thought it was here. What have I done with this? Nothing, right? It's not good. I know where it is. <laughs> I don't believe I did this. I know where it is. I don't believe that I took all of this out of here because <laughs> it's not here at all. Maybe I'll just leave this. Hey, guys, you want to clean all this up? And I'm going to go and get... <laughs> I know where that hammer handle went. <laughs> I saw it out here the other day. Now, <laughs> where did I see it? I know it's... I know it's here. I know it's here. There it is! Oh, <laughs> gee, oh, John. What were you doing with this? Hmm. I have to have a little chat with John. Now, I'm going to make one hammer reusable. How are you doing over there? Oh, Hoover gave up cleaning. Well, Zeke, when you're finished, come with me. We'll go make a new hammer out of an old dead one. There is the handle. That's necessary. You need that. Now, I have to take off... Mm-hmm. I have to take off the old hammerhead. And just saw it, but I gotta make sure that I get it in the vise so that it doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> I would hate to st stay there. And I'm just gonna saw the old split handle, this one. Of course, I don't know. Well, we'll see. If this, if this saw cooperates with me, I'm just gonna saw off the head right there. And it's always a good idea to save everything. Because you can, 90% of the time, you can fix it and make it new. And this is a perfectly good hammer. And here is the old handle. Now, <laughs> this is the tr <clears throat> tricky part because I have to get what's left of the handle out the other end. And I'm not so sure that that's tight enough. And a friend of mine showed me a really neat trick. Uh, if <laughs> the only part of the trick he didn't show me was to how to make sure this is tight. Uh, you put this on. <laughs> then you get down to the ground and you pull on it. <laughs> I think I better have him back. Oh, wait a minute here. Well, see, now that's a whole directional problem now, because now, I mean, I'm absolutely... And you pull up on it. Oh, good. <laughs> I, you know what? I don't think that has anything to do with what he showed me. Never mind. <laughs> I won't tell him I did it. What I have to do is get some safety glasses, because I'm going to... Because I'm not sure, but I'm going to wear them anyway. I don't like hitting things. To drive this out of here is a little bit tricky, and this little mallet's very heavy. Uh, very heavy. So we'll see if this works or not. I have a feeling that I'm going to hit the vise and it's going to go right across the room. Uh-huh. Well, you see, now, you have no idea how heavy that is. Now I can, the problem, oh, it's going. The trick is I can't watch both things at once. I can only watch, ha-ha. <laughs> you know what, Zeke, I should call my friend back. See, the trick is I got to hit it that, I know. Uh -huh. Well, let's try hitting it down. Of course, you know what'll happen? With my luck, it'll get stuck on the way out. Never mind. We'll try it anyway. Oh, of course, getting it back on again will be something else, but maybe if I do it this way <laughs> This is going to be good. <laughs> Why do you stand there and watch? Uh, this is one of those jobs that... Uh, no, they... <laughs> It's also, it's also a really good idea not to line up all of your various... This is a mallet and it's rubber. It ain't gonna do anything. All right, now just stay there. Sometimes. Uh-huh. Hmm. Well, there has got to be, of course... Uh, I think this all has to do with just being terribly strong. Which, uh... Now, if I do this... Uh, and... Ah! Uh, well, that's all of me on that. This one, Zeke. 
Now, there's another way to do this. <laughs> you can drill it out. <laughs> Why spoil the fun? <laughs> Why not just see if I can do it this way? Oh, wow. Hooray. It's going out. I don't believe it. Of course, it might just end up stuck in the vise. Hello? Oh, no. Uh -huh. It's true, though. I could have drilled it out. But my goodness me. I think it's out. Oh, yes. Oh! <laughs> Is that tight or loose? I think that's loose. Good. There. Ha! Huh. See that? It gives you some sort of sense of satisfaction when you actually see what it is you were working so hard to do. Now, there we go. The new handle should just... Ha, ha, ha. I, I know, right? Should just go right on the old hammer head. <laughs> okay. Now, there's got to be a way to uh, get a little of that off. Sand it? Oh, I don't know. What have I got? <laughs> Everything. Take your pick. Where's that little? What I could use is a little. I don't think you file wood. But if I use that one, that's a little big. What I want to do is just see if I can get it started. Because it's just caught on that end. That may not be enough. Ho ho. <laughs> you know, before I go in the air. <laughs> Now, I should be able to, this has to do with physics. I should be able to just go up and hit this really hard down there and the handle's gonna go zing right on. <laughs> Any bets? Oh, oh, it's working. I'll be darned. You know what, this really works? <laughs> of course. Um, <laughs> don't ever have anything hanging around you worried about breaking. And boy, does that <sighs> hurt your, there it is. I mean, my goodness me, if I just do that a few more minutes, it's going to go. Of course, I may need a new, oh, you know what I ought to do really and truly? You really should wear safety glasses when there are all these things jumping around. But, my God, there it is. There, I, holy gee, look at that, Mary, it's on there. Wonderful. Now all I need to do is uh, put a wedge in it. <laughs> At this point, if you want a well-seasoned hammer, you know what you can do? You can cook it. <laughs> it's true. You put it in the oven uh, at about 150 degrees and cook it for an hour. And then you get a well-seasoned hammer. Me, I'm just worried about getting a hammer that works. So I'll put the wedge in. <laughs> oh, good. Another problem. My hand is stuck. <laughs> This is great. <laughs> First of all, just listen to my hand stuck back down here underneath the. It is. It really is. No joke. It's right there. Good to see. Get my hand out of the way, and then see if I can get the wedge. There's a little slot in the top right here, and I'm going to put a wedge in there. I hope without having that hammer go for the wedges. Wedges are little bitty things. Obviously named wedges, because that's what they look like. Wedge-shaped. And it goes right in there. Ha, <laughs> ha. And always wear safety glasses when you're doing something like this. And I have a really healthy respect for this particular piece of equipment. That's heavy. Let's see if I can make it go in straight. Incredible. That was so wonderful. I got a hammer that's stuck on. I'll just leave it on the vise. <laughs> now, what? Hmm. There's got, see, there it is. Oh, look at that, Zeke. I made a hammer. Now, all I have to do is oil it and get rid of all the rust, and it'll be just good as new. What am I going to do with this one? Mm -hmm. I have a motto never throw anything away that you might use. My basement is full of things that I might use. They're all waiting for their chance. Oh, I know. Kindling for my fireplace, which is almost finished. I mean, all I have to do is grout the tiles and put the mantle on. And there's one more thing I have to do. Hmm. Do you know what it is, Zeke?